show you how to make a playground from paper. So all you need are things that hopefully you should find around the house, such as paper. Now I have a few different colors here, pink, blue, green, uh, white. If you don't have any colored paper, you can use white paper and just color it in yourself or paint it. You also need scissors and you need some glue, some sort of print stick or glue. Now, what goes into a playground? Well, the first thing I made was a slide. And all I did to make a slide was I cut out a long piece like that. And then I cut out two smaller long pieces and stuck them together to make the ladder. I stuck on shorter pieces here to make the rungs on the ladder. See that? And then I stuck them onto a longer piece. So that's your slides that you slide down, you see? That's your rung, your rungs on your ladder then. And what I did was to make it stick down, I folded up the end there, like a little kind of um, turn up there, and a little turn up here, like that. And then you can glue those pieces down, you see? Let me get my glue and show you. Bit of glue there, bit of glue there, and that should stick down like a slide. Now, here we go. See the little turnips help it to stick down. So there's your slide, you see? You go up the ladder and then down the slide. Now another thing that you have in your playground is a swing. Now to make a swing, ooh, it was complicated. So starting off to make the seat, I got a chunky piece of pink and then two skinnier pieces and I just stuck them together to make the sides of the swing and the seat of the swing. Okay, so like that. And then for the sides of the swing, I cut these kind of triangular shapes out like this, two triangular shapes. Okay, so they're going to go either side of the swing. So let me show you how that turned out. Like that. There's your swing, you see? Oops, there. And again, I made kind of these little feet just by turning up the ends. Turning up the ends like that, and then you can stick down those little, little side pieces to make your little swing like that. Let me do that for you now. Put glue on the ends so that you can stand it on your sheet. Four feet. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And hopefully this will stand. Let's sit it there at the back. One foot. Another foot. Another foot. Another foot. And there's your swing. Very important to have one of those in your playground. Okay, just like that. See? Make a seat. Now, I also thought about making some grass. You need some things to go in your playground around the sides, maybe. So, to make grass, I just cut this long green strip and then I cut into it with my scissors. My scissors. And I cut kind of long little strips like this. I didn't cut all the way, I just cut part of the way. And then what you do is you kind of fold that grass up so that your grass stands up. See, I didn't go all the way to the end there. See, and that can be your grass. You can stick that wherever you want there, just on the edge of your playground maybe. I'll just take that out of the way. Um, I also made a pond. Now, a pond is very easy. Just a blue piece of paper. Stick that wherever you want. And then I made, uh, what would you call, kind of a merry-go-round? So, or roundabout. So you just put a piece of, kind of a circle like that down, and that's where you would stand, you know, and it goes around and around and around. There's one in Marley Park anyway. And then I made the sides like this, like making a ladder. Two long strips, one at the top, one at the bottom, and then all these smaller little strips just going across the middle as kind of a fence. And you can stick that around your merry-go-round like that, and that would make your little fence. So there you go. Have a go at making your own little playground. Put in whatever you want. Decorate it however you choose. Maybe you can make some trees, some flowers. Maybe you could even make little people to stick in on your slide and on your swing. Have fun!